Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning and welcome to St. Isidore's. Let us join together in singing number 393 in the music issue, Open My Eyes, number 393. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John of Capistrano to comfort your faithful people in tribulation, place us, we pray, under your protection and keep your church in everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit as you will also call to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response or your psalm is, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord 
or who may stand in his holy place. He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to luke jesus said to the crowds when you see a cloud rising in the west you say immediately that it's going to rain and so it does and when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south you say that it's going to be hot and so it is You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present times? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent for a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading today from the Feast of St. John of Capistrano, from 2 Corinthians, St. Paul tells us that we are a new creation, and it's not through our own doing, but that we have been reconciled through Christ. And then he goes on to say that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation, and he says we are ambassadors for Christ, God, as it were, appealing through us. And then he tells us all to be reconciled in, in, in God. We are a people who are very much aware of our sinfulness. Uh, every time we come to Mass, we begin by pausing and asking God to forgive us our sins. We pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And then the priest prays, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Uh, when we pray the Our Father, we ask God to forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. Then we recite the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Before we receive communion, we pray, um, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Um, in the Catholic Church, we have the wonderful Sacrament of Reconciliation. On Easter Sunday night, in John's Gospel, we see that Jesus appeared to his disciples. They were hiding behind locked doors. They were afraid to be seen in public because they might be identified as followers of Jesus, and as such, they could also maybe be crucified. So they're hiding, and Jesus suddenly stands in their presence. Now think about it for a moment. It would have been an ideal time for Jesus to really chew out his apostles and say, hey, John Thursday, Holy Thursday night, Peter, didn't you say you'd die for me? 
and then you denied that you even knew me to a little servant girl and ran away? And where were the rest of you apostles, all of you but John, ran away and fled and left me alone? But he didn't say that. Instead, the first thing he said is, peace be with you, or in Hebrew, shalom aleichem, which is much more powerful. It means, I hold nothing against you. We were perfectly at one in peace with one another. And then he said to them, receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Uh, we see this as Jesus giving power to his apostles and their successors, the bishops and priests, the power to forgive in his name. Or as St. Paul said in that first reading today from the feast of St. John of Capistrano, we are ambassadors for Christ. God is, as it were, appealing through us. And so whenever I minister the sacrament of reconciliation, it's not me so much forgiving sins. Uh, I say through the ministry of the church, may God grant you pardon and forgiveness of your sins. And I, Father Joe, I forgive you, but how do I do it? in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So we're so blessed to have the sacrament. We don't have to carry our burdens of sins with us through our life. We can come to receive reconciliation and be reassured by the priest who represents Jesus that God has forgiven you. We as a community forgive you. You need to forgive yourself and go and sin no more. And then we're also reminded by that that just as we receive forgiveness from God, the community, we have to be a forgiving people too. And we have to forgive others when they offend us. Today, as we celebrate the Eucharist, let's thank God for giving us a wonderful sacrament whereby he re reassures us that our sins are forgiven. Let's ask Jesus to help us when we pray the Our Father that we truly will try to forgive others as we wish to be forgiven by God himself. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you sent your Son, Jesus, to be our Savior. And so we come to you with confidence this morning and humbly ask you to grant us these favors, which we ask in Jesus' name. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Lucas, and Father Joe, may God bless them as they teach and guide us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders that God gives them wisdom and compassion so that they can make our world a safe place for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for all life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may God give them healing and strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those affected by the coronavirus and for the doctors and scientists working to find treatments and a vaccine, may God bless and help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a bountiful and safe harvest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died so that they may be with God forever in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for Carol Sand, who we buried from St. Bond's Church this morning. Tomorrow morning, we'll have a memorial at Mass for Lee Iwanski. Monday, we have the funeral for Josephine Plotzek, and on Wednesday next week, for Linda Spain. So we pray for all of our departed loved ones. May they know the joys of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord we offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Tim and Peggy Engel family. We pray to the Lord. Lord o oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of this church, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess Until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by your help and mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are ready there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in the present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now it's the Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Let us join together in singing number 598. Let all things now living, number 598. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. 